Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another online tournament. Once uh, Magnus Carlsen Invitational finished, we have a FIDECHESS.com Online Nations Cup 2020. So another tournament, this time is the team tournament. So we have six teams, uh, China, uh, India, USA and Russia. Plus uh, we have team of Europe uh, from, you know, uh, grandmasters from different countries and also we have rest of the world and as you see these all the known names uh, the best chess players in the world and they compete in these teams uh, and today I would like to show you the game from round six uh, from the first board between uh, India and Russia so we had Vishwanathan Anand veteran chess veteran but still number one in India he's 50 years old and he's rapid ranking 2751 uh, and he's gonna play as white and Jan Nepomniachtchi he's rapid ranking 2778 he's 29 years old and he's gonna play as black so without further ado let's jump into the game Vishy Anand open with d4 and usually he plays e4 so uh, it's very interesting that this time uh, he goes for d4 of course uh, on this level players can play uh, completely everything uh, but it's just you know a quite interesting uh, fact we have knight on f6 by Jan Nepomniachtchi we have c4 g6 Knight on c3 and d5. So Greenfield defends. Uh, c takes on d5, Knight takes on d5, and usually the main line here uh, is e4. Okay, this is the main line, and after Knight on c3, b takes on c3, Bishop g7, and for example, Bishop on c4, we have c5 challenging this um, this pawns in the center, um, and the game can continue. So uh, this is very very popular. However, here. Vichy Anand play bishop d2. Uh, it's slightly less popular move, but it makes a lot of sense. So we have bishop on g7 and now e4 attacking the knight, knight on c3 and now not the pawn. This was the idea, move the bishop to takes on c3. So we have bishop on c3 and now c5 challenging this center. However, and now the another move is possible d5. We have bishop on c3, uh, b takes on c3 and now as you see white have very nice pawn structure. Uh, this pawn can move and then we would have very very strong uh, pawn center and very comfortable game for white. And here black usually goes for the castle, sometimes queen a5. This is also possible. And for example, after queen on d2, uh, e6 challenging this center, very typical move. Uh, but c4 can strengthen the center. And after exchanging the queens, the game can continue. And actually, this is a dream position for white. No problems, a lot of space, uh, good development, controlling the center. f4 is coming. Uh, this already is very strong pawn center. So what you want more uh, after the opening. Uh, so Jan Nepomniachtchi here play queen on d6 and Vichy answer with queen on d2. Queen on d2 uh, controls actually f4, so a move f4 is possible because um, the queen on d6 also controls, so this is the fight for f4 square, but also a uh, queen is watching h6, pretty important square, because black already uh, exchanged the dark square bishop, and these squares are quite weak here around the king, okay? Uh, so we have castle by Jan Nepomniachtchi, and now f4, grabbing more space and attacking the center, preparing e5. Uh, we have e6 here, and this position was reached uh, already by Jan Nepomniachtchi uh, in the past uh, against the very strong grandmaster from Russia, uh, Tomaszewski. And uh, here we had the bishop on c4, okay? And after b5, b takes on b5, e takes on d5, bishop c4. Uh, this pawn is pinned, so uh, can't be taken. Uh, the players actually in couple of moves just exchange all the pieces in the center and just left with the symmetrical pawn structure with the with the rooks and the and the knights and uh, and it was completely drawish. So players agreed to a draw. How 
However, here Vichy play knight on f3 and so far both players just blitz all moves. So definitely both of them knows what they are doing. Yanni Pomniashi knows this position, he played that already. However, Vichy is in the position which is not typical for him. However, he is blitzing. So this already should give some sign to Nepo that, okay, maybe Vichy uh, gets some preparation. So he should be uh, quite careful here. Uh, he play e takes on d5 as the bishop is not on c4, so very natural move. And now we have bishop on c4 by Vichy. So um, the pawn can't of, of course take it. And now b5 is not possible because the bishop can take on d5, okay? Uh, d4 is possible, this could be played, also very very natural move. Uh, and after castle, uh, this is the problem. Black can't play bishop on e6. It looks like very very natural move, but actually this uh, almost this variation happened in the game uh, a bit later. Uh, here knight on c6 would be a very good move. And then after f5, similar idea, I will show you what happened in the game, can be met simply but g takes on f5, okay? And there are no tricks with the queen on g5, on h6, because this queen uh, control all the six ranks so uh, everything is fine for black and the position is totally playable for both sides. Uh, however, here we have bishop on e6 by Nepo, so he didn't push d4 yet uh, and Vichy goes for the castle. And here only now Nepo play d4 and this is the, the blunder of the game, okay? Together with bishop on e6 d4 can't be played. And if you want to try to win this against Nepo, feel free to pause the video and find the winning continuation for white while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So uh, the move which was played by Vichy Anand uh, almost instantly, he definitely uh, got this in the preparation. And actually after the, the game he uh, gi gave us an uh, interview and he said that uh, his former second, Radosław Wojtaszek from Poland, uh, he made a lot of preparations for him. Uh, and this one was made 10 years ago or, or even uh, more than that and Vichy just remembered that and he said it happens quite often that after many many years when uh, he make the preparation somebody fall in some so definitely great memory <laughs> have to you know remember all the lines for many many years and so that's quite interesting how it works on the top level but he said also that this one was quite trivial and easy to remember with most of the of course the preparations he just knows that there are some winning lines and he know the ideas he remembers some ideas uh, and still have to uh, find them over the board but it's possible because he know uh, that that there are over there somewhere he just have to find it but here everything is so trivial so i hope you found the move f5 this is what anand played in the game uh, and now what to play next uh, we have bishop on c4 by nepo and now e5 okay and the queen has to go somewhere we had queen on d7 and after f6, Nepo just resigned the game. Shocking the chess world, but there is nothing he can do. Uh, checkmate is coming and you cannot defend, uh, you know, checkmate on g7 is coming. Uh, everybody knows that, but you know, sometimes you are in the position where you miss that and then you cannot do anything. If you try something like king on h8, uh, after queen on h6, we would have rook on g8 and then knight g5 helping and there is a checkmate on h7 and this checkmate cannot be um, be stopped. So uh, this is what happened in the game. But there are a couple of lines which Anand show us uh, what could happen after this e5 move. So uh, queen on d8 of course is losing as well for the same reason, f6, knight d7, uh, queen on h6 and now knight on f6 doesn't save the day because knight g5 
and checkmate is coming soon because now the knight's gonna fall and checkmate is coming it's attacked twice so uh, the queen could help but it doesn't really matter so this is also losing uh, if queen on d5 this is the longest line um, to remember uh, but Vichy said that very confidently that is the line queen on d5 and then after f6 queen e4 this is interesting and now uh, queen a6 doesn't work it doesn't work because uh, black would win the game queen e3 with check and attack on the queen okay so queen e3 d takes on e3 and black has extra piece and of course winning the game so what have to be played uh, after queen on e4 uh, is rook a on e1 okay attacking the queen and queen has to move and then we have queen on h6 and uh, and you cannot do anything queen f5 uh, queen h6 and, and yeah that's just checkmate okay knight d7 and bang checkmate so we already moved that in this position d4 together with bishop on e6 uh, is losing for black so what black should play believe me or not but the engine if you you know keep them for a couple of minutes uh, on the depth like 22 or more uh, it's actually showing that d4 is the best move here uh, and after you show f5 ah, ah sorry sorry but uh, it's it's i was wrong it's it's actually losing uh, so very funny but uh, engine doesn't see uh, this move uh, so he still recommends d4 uh, what has to be played is rook on d8 and this make quite a lot of difference because after rook a on d1 so now uh, everything is very very similar it's still the same pressure but now d4 actually can be played okay it can be played because f5 now doesn't work uh, because black simply wins the game bishop c4 and now e5 doesn't work because queen can go to f8 and there are no tricks with the queen on h6 okay the queen uh, on f8 is controlling h6 so this is very important move um, to make the space for the queen okay so rook on d8 so what white would probably have to play uh, is bishop on e6 and f takes on e6 and then for example c takes on d4 knight on c6 uh, d takes on c5 now check with the discover attack on the queen but queen can move to f2 and the game can continue uh, both sides have the the same chances you know to play the game black has advantage on the queen side two pawns against the one pawn uh, however black also has the weakness uh, on e6 and white have very nice uh, pawn structure so uh, it's still playable for both sides and then they can try you know to to win the game and yeah thanks for watching and if you don't believe me about the this position and how the stockfish look at this position he really won't black to play d4 and lose the game okay so uh the link is in the description soon after the the notation where i where i put the notation of the game and there is the link to the study on leeches so check it out and then you can you can see uh, that i'm saying the truth it's it's completely unbelievable but uh, in this position stockfish just doesn't see um this move so uh if you like this video press a like and for some reason if you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss any other games from this tournament you know press subscribe smash the bell button and don't forget to leave the comment if you have some favorite game from this tournament you would like me to cover leave in the comment section thanks for watching and see you in the next one